Welcome to part number 31 of Need for Speed Underground. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're doing some more events here. Getting closer to the rate, uh, getting closer to the rise, I was say getting, I meant to say getting closer to the end of the game. And we have these four events here. So first one's a circuit race, here we go. I'm an idiot, pre-order the PS Classic to play Red Racer and GT, just read on GT Planet GT won't be in the list. Well, there, I already knew Gran Turismo wasn't going to be on the list there, only because of the fact that licensing is the main issue. It's going to cost Polyphony and Sony a lot of money to re renew the licenses for the songs, if you're playing in PAL in US regions, and the cars themselves too. Like, they have Final Fantasy VII, which I'm happy about. They have uh, Tekken, which I'm pretty happy about as well. Great Racer Type 4. But mainly, if they have Metal Gear Solid on there, I'm buying it for sure. But I doubt that's going to happen, because Konami is Konami nowadays. Well, you can cancel the pre-order, can't you? This is the first time I've seen an airplane fly over next to the airport in this game. Also, I wasn't paying attention beforehand. That's stupid, huh? What? Well, first of all, where did you pre order it? That sucks, dude. I'd be pissed if I can't get my 10 euros back at least over here in the states like the I don't know what um video game franchise you guys have out there in terms of stores but over here we have GameStop which I'm pretty sure you probably know because of all the videos that people make on YouTube but anyways yeah at GameStop you can at least get your money back when you cancel your pre-orders So it's 10 years to reserve the console, and then you have... Wow, are you serious? Oh yeah, that, that's true, Apollo. I was just going to say that too, like... You know, someone's going to find a way to hack the console. There's th That console is not going to be as like heavily protected as a freaking PS4 will be. There's no way Sony's going to invest into like piracy protection into that PS1 classic. That thing is just a gimmick for Christmas holiday fulfillments, you know? That's really it. Just like the NES Classic, just like the Super Nintendo Classic. Yeah, that, that, it's, ain't that wonderful? No, I mean on um, on the stream itself, like on the actual uh, video. So I like to have the chat. Really? Freaking restream. That's stupid. I don't know why restream is doing that, but nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I have on-screen chat enabled. <laughs> Things that are stupid today, restream and pre-order deposits. Ain't that the truth, man. Huh, some guy's name is Spin. Oh, so GameStop does exist in Europe. I didn't know that. I just realized something, too. I never bought the new performance upgrades. That's the one thing I forgot to do. 
All right, so I think it's uh, ECU. Yep, ECU. Turbo. And brakes. And then the rest have to be unlocked, obviously. You know, let's paint the rims. Let's have it match the car. Oh, it's carbon. Oh, uh, we can still paint the outside of the winglets. All right. Or can we? Ah, uh, just barely. Dude, GameStop doesn't even have good cheap games. In all honesty, they don't even have good cheap games. You can get even cheaper, like... Go to a flea market or something. <laughs> go to a yard sale. And even then, dude, GameStop doesn't even treat their used games properly. Oh, really? Nice one. GTPSP, Daxter, Medieval, and two others that you can't remember. Oh, for 20 bucks? That's, okay, that's actually pretty good. I mean, yard sales do come and go, but, I mean, not, not unless you live in the ghetto. <laughs> See, I live in the ghetto, and, like, I always find really dirt cheap deals. Like, the other day, I found Luigi's Mansion complete in box for GameCube for a dollar. Hey, classic, uh, hey, classy car 0211, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I wasn't even trying to drift there. You live in a community? I'm not sure what an HOA is. Hey Barney, what's up man? Unfortunately we gotta use all the nitrous here. Hey Arthur, what's up, man? They want to dominate the market, eliminate everyone. Ooh, the center crashed. Yes. Oh, homeowners association. I'm dumb. I'm freaking retarded. <laughs> what's up? Let's hit five subs without any vid. <laughs> I saw you were streaming since you posted on Emil's server. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks for dropping by. The first game you ever played. That's cool. Normally run by power-hungry, middle-aged parents. Ah, that sucks, dude. I'm not sure where you exactly live. You, you don't have to say, but that sucks, man. Like, where I live, dude, there's like every Saturday, like in, um, south, in, like, in the deep ghetto of freaking LA, man, there's like there's this whole entire block in um, in South Central Los Angeles that um, does yard sales everywhere, like the whole block. And this one dude, like this one, I'm sure he's after X comment. Exclusive games, wow. The only time I think they did exclusive games here in the U.S. was the only time I can recall is uh, Xenoblade for the Wii. That was like a GameStop exclusive back then. But anyways, um, yeah, dude, every week there's always this whole entire block where they do yard sales. And, like, I found, like, a bunch of cheap consoles. I found Luigi's Mansion for a dollar. found, like, some mint uh, Xbox 360 controllers for five bucks. Like, it's the best. It's a lot better than the one from Virginia. Oh, okay. They just want to dominate the market. Yeah. That's what it just sounds like, Abstract. And that sucks, dude. Wow, I didn't think I'd be struggling this much towards the end of the game, but I guess things are getting really hard now. All three cars have beat me in this race, so this is my fourth attempt. You have to stream the ESTRL races for documentation purposes, just in case something happens. Oh, true.
I'm trying a new shortcut out. I think that shortcut to the left might be faster if I can hit the brakes a little early. Sounds a board, but I think part of it's still getting used to doing commentary. It wasn't comfortable not getting kind of low volume wise. You know, yeah, true. I actually did two burnout LPs, believe it or not. This is like back when I first started my YouTube channel and it was really, really indecisive on the direction I wanted to take it. And I was just like, hey guys, welcome to Burnout Part Number 10. So yeah, today we're going to be doing this. Like I was just super monotone and not really, really trying to be myself and I don't know, man, I deleted it and that's why I redid the entire Burnout Let's Play because the game's not long and I beat the USA Marathon with a bus. So if you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. I'm actually not sure how I'd be able to do commentary while doing a wheel. You have an external hard drive using one of the USB ports. Oh wait, you don't have a capture card? Oh wait, well, duh, you, you, you don't stream. I mean, if you use the PC, use the capture card, that solves your problem right there. Kind of like how I do it, Jimmy, Broadbent, Rhino, every YouTuber like them. Use capture cards and an external mic for PC. You see a hater, just be like, fuck them, yep. Definitely. G29 was 210 euros, but official price was 265. I would ask twice about that abstract. You know the uphill left shortcut? I don't think that's the best route. Alright, Arthur. I'll uh, definitely avoid that route. 23rd May 2014 is when I uploaded the first episode. Alright, I need to take a look into that. Oh, no PC. You were 13 years old. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Oh, I, I didn't know that, Rishi. Sorry. There's so many comments that I'm not even able to keep up with them, to be honest. You thought I was a little older? Dude, 2014 was four years ago. I was 19 years old. Oh, my God. Dude, I feel ancient. I'm only 23, and I feel ancient now. Oh yeah, Belvika does bring up a good point. You could do that, dude. Ah, oh, damn it. I missed the little shortcut. That's okay. The card behind us is following. You were six. You were six in 2014. Whoa. You're 10? You are not 10. Die. It was at media marked, same way you got a T-150 for 161 being 210 the official price on the webpage. Oh, okay, so pretty much uh, it was marked down. That's cool. Um, I don't know if it would shut off after inactivity, though, because technically you'd be active on it, wouldn't you, by using a microphone? There we go. You can always change the set. Yeah, true. You can change the settings in inside the um, options. Cool. Level three side skirts. You were not four in 2014, motherfucker. You were not. <laughs> ah, you're pulling my leg. Weren't you mad at me, Samantha? Now you're trying to help me out again? What? What's wrong with you? You're calling me a punk, and now you're trying to tell me about Import Magazine? Like, girl. Well, that was a good start. Samantha was the one you wanted to see more of. I wonder why, UFC. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whoa. I thought we were drifting, not catching air. Oh, but... Oh, you have a set of earbuds. Well, that works, dude. Dude, everyone starts somewhere. Like, hell, dude. I mean, you don't need the fanciest equipment, dude. Like, I don't have a play seat. I don't have a, a face cam just yet. 
I started off with a potato mic and my own dumb voice and my dumb personalities. So everyone starts somewhere. I mean, you know, since your buddies are Rhino, look at his GT1 LP. Like, only one ear worked. Only one side of the earphones worked. And I think he used it. It looked like a VHS recording. But yeah, dude, everyone has to start somewhere. Not gonna be perfect in the very beginning. Oh, is it? A plastic red chair. I know, mine's is a freaking TGT with an uncomfortable office chair with a really bad freaking office table. Oh, you like the cutscenes? The cutscenes are alright. I prefer the cutscenes in this game than the comic book style in Underground 2, to be honest. But nothing beats the, the freaking uh, live action most wanted cutscenes. Which my dumbass at the time when I was a kid, I was like, wow. These people look real. I thought it was actual cutscenes, but like, like CGI or something. But no, it was actually green screen. You have to for wheel stand for a uh, post a good chair. Oh, sliding on hard wood? Yeah. See, I'm trying to save up for a good chair. Old dinner tables that are basically used for generations of the family. <laughs> it was passed down from generation to generation, mijo. <laughs> if you want nightmares, the work in progress cutscenes. Alright, I'll check that out. You used to use an Ottoman as a chair and an old wooden stool to soft mount your T-80, which had a dead spot. Oof. All right, there we go. We completely dominate this drift event. Rishi is a Turkish warlord confirmed. <laughs> and yep, we're unlocking a bunch of new vinyls, which don't really matter because we have a unique vinyl. The cover of Import Sooner makes your ride look like the meanest thing in the street. Dude, that girl looks dead. She looks like a mannequin. The T80 became useful later. That's good. So time to take on the hot fours. Okay, well, that RX-7 on the right whooped my ass badly, so we're trying this again. <laughs> we're all corrupting you. So if I went for D, D, ugh, so if I went for DFGT, I couldn't play GT Sport. If I got T150, I couldn't play GT4. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, now I understand what you were saying. Yeah, obviously you can't play the DFGT with GT Sport unless you buy like one of those converters from China for like a hundred, which I wouldn't even trust anyways. And uh, yeah, I don't trust like that. <laughs> All the way. <laughs> oh, the Impreza got revenge because last... Uh... What the hell just happened? Jesus Christ. All right, then.
Oh, really now? Okay, so why don't you manufacture me one and send it to me, huh? Send me one. You can just manufacture another. It doesn't really cost that much. Like, what, $1. twenty-two? Your first wheel was older than the first driving force. My first ever wheel was the Pelican wheel for PS1. And really, ten dollars? Are you serious, Apollo? Mad cats, yeah, those mad cats. A dollar for twenty-two hour. Yep. <laughs> or maybe not. Um, yeah, th th definitely there was a mad cats wheel for PS um, PS One. I had a Pelican wheel. I had Pelican, and that wheel was terrible. Obviously, compared to today's standards. Oh, the Formula GP Wingman. That's right. I forgot about that. I remember seeing one for like $15 at the Salvation Army. And I was just asking myself, like, what the hell wheel is this? Your uncle got Microsoft Wheel a few years before you got the Driving Force. Yeah, mostly that that uh, wingman formula controller that he was talking about. I think it was orange, right, or red? One of those two colors. Oh, it's the RX-7 again. All right. So we're saving our bottle of nitrous for the very last corner. I do not want to lose this race again. Put him in the wall. SR down. It doesn't matter. We win the race. <laughs> we ran out. Hey, I didn't run out of fuel this time, okay? So leave me alone. Alright, what's next? More events. Alright. So these are the next three events we're going to be doing in the playthrough.